Does anyone have some whiskey I can borrow? I mean, like, really, really strong whiskey. Something that will just make me forget about everything I've seen for the past month. Because I'm going to need it. Because I really just want to forget about this last horrendous stretch for the New York Yankees. Culminating in the last two days. Which I know people, there were a couple of people online yesterday who were upset that I didn't rant yesterday. Maybe because it was 3 o'clock in the morning. And I was just like, whatever. You know, we lost. You know, it was an awful, awful garbage loss yesterday. Losing one nothing. We had a million base running opportunities. And now today, I'm ready to rant again because, and I don't even know if this is going to be like a 10 on the rant scale, but I am beyond ticked off after yesterday where the offense shuts down just from minute one and continued to just embarrass itself with not only the lack of offense but the base running. We start today and the same thing happens. And it's another great starting performance from Nestor. Nestor is, is perfect, or he's got a no-hitter through five, and the Yankees aren't doing anything. They have... You know, Hicks is at third in the second inning, and they, they, they don't score in there. Third, they have Judge on first. Rizzo grounds out. Fourth inning, you know, Torres goes to second and Duhar grounds out. Fifth inning, they got runners on second and first. Rizzo strikes out. Sixth inning, it's one, two, three. Sixth inning is when Cortez finally gives up a home run to Haggerty. Makes it one nothing. And then at that point, I'm thinking the game's over because the Yankees have shown no inclination they're going to score right now. And then, amazingly, IKF walk and Agashioka home run. Four and three feet to center field. What a big-time home run for Agashi. Okay, Yankees lead 2-1. At this point, I'm thinking, all right, we're back. Here we go, baby. The Yankees, they're, they're returning. And then Judge with his 45th home run of the year. And that is the one positive I feel like I can take away from the rest of the season. Even if the Yankees suck from here on out and they miss the playoffs, at least give me the thrill of Aaron Judge hitting 62 home runs, breaking Roger Maris' single-season home run record, breaking the non-steroid home run record, and winning an AL MVP. Just at least give me that, because if you're not going to give me a Yankees World Championship, or even at this rate, a Yankee playoff appearance, at least, for the love of God, give me Judge making history. So Judge hits a home run. Awesome. Loving it. And then we go into the bottom of the seventh. Single, pass the ball, single. Hanniger scores. Uh, France, 3-2. Cortez comes out of the game. Cortez, a real solid outing from him. He's been great. They left him a little too long, but whatever. Six innings, three hits, three runs, one walk, ten strikeouts. Zero is 2.67. And then we bring in Albert Abreu. We bring in Albert Abreu. And by the way, Rob Marinaccio is not on this roster. But we can bring on Abreu to completely and utterly implode. Strikeout of Suarez, fine. And then he just gives up the home run to Santana. Make, breaks it open, 4-3 Mariners. And at that point, I knew the game was over. Because I knew the Yankees were going to come back. Because I've watched this team, that, that team that would always come back in games, that is not this current Yankee team. That, is not that, that, that first half of the Yankees that always came back, never gave up, that is not here anymore. I just knew this team was going to die from here on out, and that is exactly what happened. And so the Yankees have lost another game. They've lost another game here in this series. They've, uh, they've, oh, they've lost another series. What is that? Two series losses in a row. They are now 2-8 and eight in their last 10. And now they have officially lost, and I guess it was bound to happen. Congratulations. You know, in Houston, you can pop the bottles. They now officially no longer have home for the vintage. It now belongs to the Houston Astros. And I feel very confident in saying it's going to remain that way for the remainder of the season. Congratulations, Houston Astros. This is not a reverse jinx. Congratulations to the Houston Astros on home for the vintage in the American League. You know, go use it. Use it to win another championship and make me feel miserable about myself. But, my gosh, I don't know what's going on here. The lack of offense is startling. We, thank God we brought Rizzo back today, but Rizzo was up for Maybe I shouldn't expect anything, you know, with him just coming back. But you know what? Could really use Stanton right now. And then you have guys like Donaldson and Glaber and IKF. and it's just, just There's nothing there. DJ goes over for three today. And I know DJ's been good, but just, just a few exceptions. Just a few. Just that one inning in the seventh. That was it. The Yankees had that one magical inning in the seventh inning. And outside of that, they have been dead the last two games. And they scored nine runs two nights ago. They scored nine runs, and I don't know how that's possible. Because now they've gone from scoring nine runs to just what, what, what three, three and two games, and only one magical inning. This team, my shout out to Derek, uh, MLB recaps who tweeted this out. He, he had this quote. He said, "This season feels like it's going to become an all-time choke job." And maybe I'm overreacting. Maybe I'm not. Maybe I'm going crazy because, you know, the Yankees are still still thirty games up over five hundred. But I mean, the way they're playing right now on offense, the way they always seem to lose these games. The, the stupid mistakes they're making, the blown leads, it does start to seem like this could be... Now, thankfully, we are 10 games up over Toronto. But, I mean, who knows? At this rate, with the way they're playing on offense, who knows what could happen? And even if the team makes the postseason, which I think they will, 
That's almost a guarantee at this point. I will say that. What are they going to do? The way they're playing right now, what are they going to do? Is anything going to happen? I, I want to see something from this team. I want to see a heartbeat from this team. I want to see this team show a little fire, show a little swagger. I haven't seen that in weeks. I haven't seen that in weeks from this team. That heart, that fire, the team that looks like they're having fun. Ever since the second half of the season, ever since the All-Star break, again, I go back to the Boston Road Series, I feel like when they lost those two games, those two, those two brutal games, the walk-off and then the comeback in the eighth inning, I think it was, I think that was early July, this team hasn't been the same. Something has gone wrong in this team. They're not getting the hits anymore. They're not getting the big moments. Something is always wrong with this team, and it's, it's struggling to watch. The offense has really collapsed in on itself. And again, I can't even blame the pitching today. It's, it, it mostly is just about... So, so ever since July 9th, they were 61-23. and 23. They'd won two games against Boston. They won that Friday night game 12-5. And ever since then, then they lost the two games. And ever since then, they are 10-18. and 18. And that was the turning point. They are 10-18 and 18 in the last 28. And I don't know when this is going to stop. I don't know when this, this the bleeding is going to end here. But something, something's got to be done. It's so frustrating to watch this team right now, knowing that it looks like they're going nowhere. But... Thankfully, again, we're still, we still have all these games up to... But even if we, even if we win the division, we're going to run into Houston in the American League. We're going to run into them in the LCS. And then what happens? Nothing. At one point, the Yankees had gone 19 innings without scoring. I don't know if it stayed that way, so maybe it was like 19-20. The longest stretch of the season. So great job, Bronx Bombers. Great job. Yeah, yes, I know. Get hot around the postseason, but I have no confidence right now the team is going to get hot. And we made all our trade deadline moves, and I don't see anything right now. I don't, I don't see an urgency from this team. I don't see this team getting fiery. I don't see the power from this team. And, I mean, we're, gonna, we're not going to bring up guys like Clark Schmidt and Rob Marinaccio so we can bring in guys like Abreu. It, it's – it's and, oh, gosh, Albert Abreu, just please, just go away. Go away. He's, he's, um, he's getting near my Chapman level here. But right now – um, I think all Yankee fans right now, it's just a frustration. It's a frustration level. This needs to end. They've got to start winning here. They've got to start pulling together victories because it is not looking good here at this moment. It is not looking good for the future of the team. Forget winning the division. It's just about can you compete in the postseason? Can you be relevant in the postseason? Can you look like you have a pulse in the postseason? And right now it does not look like they have that. And I know it's two months away, but show me something. You showed it to me a few nights ago, cool, and then you responded with nothing burger in back-to-back -back games. This team was truly sleepless in Seattle. That was my fear going in, and they were truly sleepless in Seattle. And now they have three games at Boston. Take a day off, they have three games at Boston. I am not feeling confident about those three games. I feel like we are running, we are heading right into a bus saw. The Red Sox see what we're doing, and they are ready to pounce. They are ready to get us. And I am not, even though I know they've lost three in a row. I get it. But I just feel like this is the perfect time for Boston to remind everybody who has owned the Yankees for the last 15 years until the Astros. Boston and Houston, it's a combined owning of the New York Yankees uh, over the last 15, 16, 17, 18, whatever, God, many years. Uh, Boston's owned it for the first half, and now Houston's owned it recently. They, they both collectively own us. And so it just feels like this could be the kind of series where they really take it to another level. Remind us who's, remind us, uh, who's been under possession, Phil. I'm really tired. I'm really angry. I stayed up till 3 o'clock last night to watch this garbage. And then today, you know, I could have been outside today. No, I had to watch this trash. Just frustrating. Just anger and missing. That wasn't a rant. I think if I had to say that wasn't a rant. But I'm just, I'm not mad. I'm not angry. I'm just really, really disappointed. And I want this to end right now. Win, Yankees. Win. As if I know, guys, I'll be back tomorrow or Friday or whatever. I hate this team right now. So, so much. Bye.